While many photographers consider the print to be the best way to share a photograph, many photographers are embracing digital slideshows as well, and Bridge includes the ability to create a slideshow virtually instantaneously. In fact, you can present a slideshow simply by choosing View Slideshow from the menu or pressing Control L on Windows or Command L on Macintosh. That will start a very basic slideshow, and you can see that I start with the first image here, and then we'll cycle through each of the remaining images automatically. But you can also specify particular settings for the slideshow. I'll press Escape to cancel out of the slideshow, and from the View menu, we can now choose Slideshow Options, and that will bring up the Slideshow Options dialog. We have an option to black out additional monitors, so if you have more than one monitor connected to your computer, the other monitors that are not being used for the slideshow presentation can be blacked out. That's especially helpful, for example, if you're presenting on a digital projector with a laptop connected to it in a darkened room, and you don't want that laptop to be illuminating the room. You can also choose the option to repeat the slideshow so that when it gets to the end of the group of images, it will go back to the first image. There's also an option to zoom back and forth. So I'll go ahead and turn that option on and then click the play button and you can see that first an image zooms in and then the next image zooms out. So a somewhat interesting way to present the images. I'll go ahead and press escape and then go back to the view menu and choose slideshow options again. You can see next we have the slide options. We can specify a duration for each image and whether or not we want to use a caption. And that can include page numbers, compact or full. I'll go ahead and leave the full option set and you can see that we get a fair amount of information about our photos. This would be most useful in a situation where you need more information to be shared with clients, for example, or if somebody is evaluating images for some other project. I'll go ahead and press escape here though and go back to our slideshow options. And you can see that we have the option when presenting to center the images, scale them to fit the display, or scale them to fill the entire display, which will result in some cropping for many of the images. I generally use the scale to fit option so that we're able to see the image as large as possible. You also have a variety of transition options. I generally use the dissolve option. I find that to be the most elegant option available here, but there is certainly a variety of other options, including random, where the slideshow will play with a different effect for each image. I generally don't like using random because some of the effects are better than others and some I'd rather avoid altogether. So I find the dissolve option to be a good way to go in most cases. We can also specify the transition speed, whether we want a faster or slower transition between the images. So if I switch back to dissolve and then use a slower option, now when we see the images transitioning, the effect will be considerably slower. So the transition from one image to the next will be quite a bit slower than we saw previously. So you can see there are quite a few options for the slideshow. It's still a fairly basic slideshow. You don't have a tremendous amount of flexibility as far as creating customized slideshows, but it still does give you a good way for a basic method of sharing your images with others. And as you've seen, we can click the play button to play the slideshow directly from within the slideshow options dialog. But if you don't want to play the slideshow right away, you can also click Done, and those settings will be saved. So the next time you choose View Slideshow from the menu, those settings will be used to play back that and future slideshows in Adobe Bridge.